Hello guys, my name is Oleginovas, and today in this tutorial, we will help you to set up Windows 98 on the Emo VR. For those who know about the Emo VR, you knew it. And for those people who doesn't know about the Emo VR, Emo VR is a, a virtual room application simulator that you can edit your favorite games into the room. Like specifically, for example, uh, Sega Genesis and Mega Drive Classics, which it has, of course, virtual room. And yeah, you can and yeah, you can just pop it into a cartridge or disc into the console and then play it on the TV. That it will make you like nostalgia, like live in the '90s uh, room. So yeah, in this video specifically, we will sh we will show you how to do to set up the Windows 98, which is personal computer on Emo VR. Now. First step is to install an Emo VR. If you have an Emo VR, you can skip to the next step. Anyway, so you actually have to go to the emovr.net. Link will be in the description. Once you're in the website, yeah, it is indeed beta version is in the currently, yeah, which it is of course. Yeah, like it's beta versions. So yeah, uh, select this website, which you can, which it will lead you to download the beta. Go to the installation guide, look down, and you see downloads. So make sure you downloaded both of them, which Emo VR 1.0.12. It's supposed to be like this, but it did not change. And of course, Virtual Arc 1.7.5. The thing is, is that Virtual Arc is obviously important required for Emo VR to work properly. And that, of course, specific versions, which it is also required for Emo VR. Not older, not newer, not even from the official website will work on the Emo VR. So, make sure to download both of them, which, yeah, click on to link. Yeah, and it will obviously download. After you download it between EmoVR and RetroArc, it's time to extract it. Firstly, open the EmoVR. Now, uh, the thing is, is that you can extract it like any local disk. And obviously, extracted to the sub systems like program files is obviously not working properly. So yeah, make sure you actually have to extract it to like any local disk. I mean, for example, uh, this one, then uh, added the folder and then type this. And go to the empty files, which is EmoVR, and extract it all, all of them, into this file. Alright, after you extracted the uh, EmoVR into this folder installed, now it's time to extract it with your arc. Now here's important. Extracted all of them into this folder which it is included in EmoVR. Which it is technically empty, but not like another retro arc uh folder inside this one because it might be not working. So yeah, go to the retro arc folder, extracted them all. Yeah, into this. Alright, now that you extracted between EmoVR and RetroArc, it's time to edit the uh, games, probably, or ROMs. So, uh, I think you actually like already know how to find the rooms, so you can actually find it yourself rooms for EmoVR, like games, like anything that you can do it. Uh, for this specific uh, video, like you can search Windows 98, which either you can choose first version or second edition. But make sure that you choose OEM versions because the difference is is that OEM OEM 
has a bootable disk, which you can easily install it on uh, DOSBox. And for the retail is that you need the floppy to insert it, then insert a disk to install it, yeah, like manually. So yeah. So yeah, you can search Windows 98 to download it anything like, uh, I don't know, from WinWorld or something like that. Maybe you can find it yourself, Windows 98. So yeah, well, I already have Windows 98 uh, disk, which is... Yeah, there it is. So yeah. Alright, go to the games. Then, here is a folder, which there are examples. You can actually delete them all. Like, it's not gonna be usable. So yeah, create a folder, then type either PC, CD, or Windows CD, whatever you want to, do, to add it. Now, go to this folder that you created, then just copy and paste Windows 98 SE. Alright, after you add it, go to the game scanner. Select it, or basically launch the game scanner. Alright, so it says virtual... Virtual Arc patch for Immer VR applied successfully, which it is the first time that you in a, that you uh, run launching the game scanner. So yeah, it says if you want you just to update, there's no time to scan. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, but yeah. Now here's the two things, like two ways to add it: either add a folder manually or attempt to autofill. Item autofill will automatically added folder that it is specifically recognize it. For example, NES, SNES, Sega Genesis, PC, Dreamcast, GameCube, and others. Alright, so let's say for example autofill. Okay, so let's add it manually. Alright, now that you add it manually, uh, okay, the thing is I forgot to add it is the custom media file. Yeah, you need it to add it. So yeah, uh, alright. Alright, you need to create the uh, full, uh, the text document which is custom media. Custom media will recognize it in game scanner whenever you added something like anything. So yeah, I'm, going to, I'm just gonna remove unnecessarily things except this. So here is a custom media which it will be in the description so that in case if you want to like if you want to actually like using all of these like kind of the uh, systems, you know, like before adding the UGC content into the Emo VR. So yeah, here it is. Make sure that you have a custom media. And afterwards that you add it, just save and then close. Launch game scanner again. All right. Then add a folder as I told it. And yes, of course, it will recognize as PC CD or basically Windows. CD. Anyways, anyways. Uh, now that you added the folder into the game scanner, selected a uh, PC CD. Well, it won't. It will obviously recognize it automatically as you added the folder, like this, basically, or something. All right, for the PC CD, I was choosing, and if you see down arrow, which means is that. Core is of course missing, so you, you actually make sure to select download missing cores. Alright, saving. Then, alright, make sure you choose the uh, DOSBox Pure, which DOSBox Pure is obviously of course working so great with the Windows 98. Yeah, Windows 98. So yeah, select the DOSBox Pure, download the missing core if you don't actually have one. Alright, after you downloaded a missing core, if you see a star, which is of course, you need to update the core data. Press it, and then done. And afterwards that you are done, click scan games for EMVR. It will obviously firstly scan to the virtual arc that you added, that uh, it will obviously like searching the games, whatever you added to the games folder, and then it will add it in EMVR. And yes, it is of course completed. So yeah, now that you are ready to start and uh, experiencing Windows 98 PC on Emo VR, here are the four choices to run. First desktop is that if you want to run a just a desktop mode or like launching non-VR mode. 
if you have any Oculus devices like MetaQuest or um, Oculus Rift or something like that, then select Force Oculus. If you if you want to like run or if you have a uh, Steam VR devices like HTC Vive or Oculus Rift or Valve Index or Windows Mixed Reality headsets, like anything, select Force Steam VR. Or if you connect it to the virtual desktop streamer, then select this. Now there. Now next is the um, next is the adding the UGC content. UGC content like to edit the uh, like any any models and any mods is required. Wii U or Wii U X, whatever you want it. Obviously, Wii U is only on the Discord server, which is of course not available. Which I cannot even add it in the descriptions to like to uh, like join the Discord server to get this. Well, don't worry, don't worry. I'll give you the link to the uh, Wii U in the description. After you downloaded Wii U, open the, the where, which is of course the zip, open this, then extract it into the emo VR installed uh, folder. Like this, drag them all and put it into the this. Yes, it will also launch the Melon, it will obviously launch in via Melon Loader so that it will obviously like enable the, or initializing with you as a mod to obviously like, to actually having some fun with the customizing like user generated content. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it will also edit the folder which is of course the GS. You also need is these UGC content which I will also put it in the descriptions. Yeah, which is the monitor, this one, PC tower, and basically keyboard and mouse and the, this disc thing. So yeah, it, uh, so yeah, take all these, like extract it into the this, which go to the custom, UGC, and then just put it in right here. Now after that, also the thing is, is that I actually switch changed into Wait. So yeah, uh, make sure to change it like this one. Yeah, Windows City and the dust box here. Yeah, make sure that. Anyways, now it's time to start. All right. So launching the Emo VR. Yeah, we'll all be see launching the Mail Loader. All right. Alright, so as you can see, you're in the Emo VR. Yep. Alright, so here is the system, UGC Tower. Just grab it. Then here's the prompts, which is the keyboard and mouse. Okay, before we need to get rid of this. All right, you can now you can obviously put it this one as you obviously like starting to uh, getting a workplace set up. All right, put it this way here and then monitor which is on the screen. Just go down and select this. All right, connect the monitor or screens to this system. So yeah, go to the this one and you see this the disc. If you wanted to actually like look like a this disc then. You need to find the um, you need to find the artwork of the disc one. Then just put it into the custom labels, then PC, and make sure that this picture is obviously matched as this one, as the blooms. Yeah. So yeah, open up the open up the CD drive, put it in the there, and then just press the start, and we'll also boot up the uh, monitor. So yeah. Alright, so once again, why do you need DOSBox Pure? It will obviously like, it will obviously installing so easily Windows 98. So yeah, select boot and install new operating system. And uh, in the first, it says create a new hard drive image. You can obviously choose whatever you want to add the hard drive. For example, 8GB. Enter, and it will obviously 
go into the boot menu of Windows 98. It's obviously going to take a while to load it. All right. So select boot from CD room and then start Windows 98 setup from CD room. It is also it is already formatted the hard drive, so yeah, it will be obviously quickly. I mean, look at this wonderful. Like like you actually did. You obviously you obviously Install it and add it to the Emo VR, which the personal computer that you wanted. Yeah, you actually want to experience the 90s PC, like Intel Pentium 2, or basically Pentium. Then just the uh, Voodoo, which obviously gaming. Sound Blast 16, of course. And then you want to play some DOS games and uh, of course the Windows 9X games, which, yeah, it's basically like a Doom, Quake, uh, what else? Half-Life, yeah. Quake, yeah, basically. And obviously the other games that, yeah, it is obviously your favorite. Alright, this probably concludes the tutorials for Windows 98 on Emo VR. If you want to edit the games to play with DOS games and basically Windows 99X games, you can obviously find it, uh, the games, which yeah, is basically of course on PC. Then add it to the folder uh, in games folder, which is the PC CD or Windows CD that you added. Then just add it to the either BingQ or ISO, which are both, uh, we, uh, which both are recognized it and will obviously like play it. So yeah, and then you can basically just pa just uh, insert the disk into the PC, then just start it, and then just. You know, installing some games and then play with it, whatever you want. Yeah, it is indeed. So yeah, that is all for tutorials for Windows 98 on Emo VR. Thanks for your watching. If you if you enjoy it, like and subscribe. Or not. Alright, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.